there are really two areas in the brain that are involved deeply in our decision-making process. And that is the prefrontal cortex, the part up here in the brain, that lets you look at information, uh, weigh that information, and then make a balanced decision, not only for what you wanna do, but also think about how that may play out in the future, tomorrow or 10 years from now, versus uh, an area called the amygdala and other areas of the brain that favor more impulsive types of momentary decisions, uh, glazed donut, end of story, right? We know where that goes. And then we realized that there's a balance between the two, and there's actually a connection between the prefrontal cortex, top-down control on this more impulsive area of the brain. And we really need that connection between the prefrontal cortex to act as the adult in the room to rein in that impulsivity so we can, in fact, utilize the prefrontal cortex, make better decisions. And we recognize that so much of our modern world now is threatening that connection. We call that disconnection syndrome, and we explore that deeply in the book. So what threatens then our ability to keep the adult in the room, to utilize the prefrontal cortex and make better long-term decisions? And surprisingly, what we learned was so many of the trappings of our modern world are designed to take us away from being more thoughtful, uh, including our digital experiences, which directly are designed to uh, make us impulsive. The clickbait, the pop-up ads, the next queued uh, video on YouTube, for example, is all designed to tap into your impulsivity, your fear-based part of the brain, and keep you away from the prefrontal cortex. That lack of restorative sleep does the same thing. The next day you're more, much more impulsive. That an inflammatory diet, more Western type of diet, keeps you from connecting to the prefrontal cortex. Uh, that lack of exercise, lack of nature exposure. So this became a, a really powerful knowledge set when we realized that what's going on globally with our lifestyle changes is locking us into an impulsive, fear-based, us-versus-them, narcissistic part of the brain.